Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Party. When we last left off, we took control of Ayumi, and I think we're going back to the classroom, if I remember correctly. Anyway... Why is the back of her dress, or skirt, I should say, red like that? She fall down in blood? What? Oh, there's the bucket. Still empty. Huh. At any rate... Paper. Just pull up note on the floor. There's one thing I've learned from all of this. The children are victims too. Yeah, they are. They're still dicks, but they're still vic they're also victims. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones we should hate. Their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our true enemy. Oh, I see. How very wise of you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not exactly a font of wisdom. So I'm not quite sure. Alright, 1A. Oh hey, isn't that the, um, the thing with the pulley? Message wrote previously on the... in still clearly visible on the teacher's desk. No one's responded yet. I wonder if anyone's even seen it. My message. Hmm. I don't know. Let's all the floor here. Be very careful where you step. Yeah, it's the pulley thing. So glad we could find each other before we died. Let's set off on this journey together, holding hands forever. There's nothing to be scared of as long as we have each other. We know there is meaning in our lives because we were fortunate enough to find our soulmates. To find one another amongst all the fish in the sea. To our mothers and our fathers, take heart. We died happy and wanted for nothing. And when we finally pass over to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. Yeah, about that. <laughs> we'll fly up to heaven and be joyous forevermore. Our only regret is the pain our deaths will cause you. But one day we'll meet again up in the golden realm of the ever after. Extern Senior High School, Class 3 2, Hotaru Kanzaki, Class 2 4, Nayuto Minatogawa. Huh. There's graffiti on the wall here. Idiots, there's no getting into heaven from here. Maybe a dick. Two corpses here, both large enough to deduce they were probably high schoolers. It appears they died hand in hand, and their bleached white bones are still holding hands even now. Does the pulley still work? Lever is stuck, it won't budge. There does seem to be space for it to go down one more notch, but the mechanism is locked. There's a tiny, peculiarly shaped keyhole in its base. Lovely. I gotta go key hunting. We all know how well that goes. Uh, I don't know what to do, and I wander around for an hour. Hmm. Ugh. Ow! Hmm? Amy's hands landed squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. The skin between the index finger and thumb of her right hand was cut wide open. Ooh, ow, ow, ow! It's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. It's found in an, out of anemic yesterday, too. Great timing, huh? I'm starting to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down or something. <sighs> well, there are chairs back here, aren't there? Or not. Either way. Stairs, classroom. Yeah, I'll check the stairs first, I guess. Way up's clear. Okay, guess I'm not going that way. My goodness. Somebody doesn't want me going up there. Huh. Ooh, candle. Hmm. I 
don't know. Breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. Read it. I guess. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as, yeah, we've read this. And around 7 p.m., was found with them alive and near catatonic. And then, um, and... Yeah. Nothing I don't know. Very old, thoroughly yellowed books. One... Uh, I just saved, so yeah, I'll read it. The cardinal directions are to be laid out... To be laid flat upon a clock face with additional divisions placed amongst them to mimic fully times twelve notches. Beginning with the rat affixed at due north, the twelve sides of the Chinese zodiac should be labeled clockwise around this timepiece compass. Rat. Uh, this is going to be important, isn't it? Let me write this shit down. Hang on. I'm going to pause. Alright, uh, we're back. I copied them down in the clockwise on the positions of the, well, numbers of a clock. And this time I actually have a notepad, so that'll help. <laughs> I imagine this will be important at some point. You know, just a hunch. Alright, so, oh, <laughs> east is the rabbit and east. By southeast is the dragon, basically serving him. Anyway. Of course, let's go back down this way. <laughs> Door looks like a different color from out here. Huh. Weird. Dead end. Guess I'm going back this way. Hmm. Hope this doesn't end up being another like. <laughs> what am I doing? Like I said earlier. So yeah. Uh, it's down this way. Is anything new in here? I actually haven't found any victims' memoirs. Streets of pain. Da, 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 da. He saw never be from his misery. Yeah, yeah, I've already read that. I actually haven't, like I said, found any victims' memoirs in Chapter 4 yet. Kind of weird. Hmm. Okay, nothing new in here. Of course, this is going to be shut. Yeah. Aesthetic again. I'm wandering in circles again. Well, don't worry. Hopefully, I won't let it drag on too long before I pause again. I don't want to make this boring for you guys, after all. Here it clearly collapsed previously, the gap seems to have mysteriously closed up on its own. It feels completely solid. Huh. Oh yeah, that's where, um... Yeah. Pulley thing. Oh yeah, the 
that's right. Creepy doll. Hmm? What's my candle doing here? I'm sure I left it outside in the hallway. Did someone move it? That is a good question. There's a torn piece of newspaper on the ground. Oh, I just saved. Let's read it. Dungeon Public Relations, The Light and Dark Sides of Heavenly Host Elementary's Principal Takamini Yanagi Hori. Ground was broken for Tenjin's Municipal Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a. Let me try again. It quickly became a source of pride for the town, as no elementary school had stood within Tenjin's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighboring towns for class, so for them in particular, Heavenly Host truly really was a godsend. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. The coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takamini Inagi. Fuck it. <laughs> Inagi Hori quickly became popular, popular rather. <laughs> Amongst the townsfolk for his charismatic personality, his work ethic, and his firm but fair school policies. Hmm. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders and even general building expansion. Essentially, due to Inagi Hori's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenjin. So that's the name of this town, huh? Okay. Or the town we were in. <sighs> but all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day, with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. Blank. This must be where it torn. Hmm. Clive's medicine tonics. Pair of scissors. There's a spirit here. slowly. Yep, not talking to him. <laughs> I can't go this way. I can't bring myself to see Sozumoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. What am I supposed to do then? Oh, I'll do the dumb thing and talk to the spirit, why not? No, I don't want to pick up the empty doll. Let's go talk to the spirit. Fuck it. I just saved. He's staring right at... Ah! Deep black iris of the voice, spirit's left eye transfixes Ayumi's gaze. That ending? Begins slowly expanding in size. I, I can't... I should have figured. Move my body. The boy's iris continues to grow, slowly and methodically enveloping Ayumi until only blackness remains. The world vanishes into nothingness as the soulless muscle becomes an all-encompassing void, blotting out the whole of existence. Suddenly, in the distance, a tiny white face breaks through the darkness, shining with its own unnatural light. No. No, please. Please, no, I'm so scared, please! The face seems distorted, as if being viewed through water. Its expression shifts and wobbles for a bit until finally, with some effort, the image clears. You've seen this face before. Somebody! Um, yeah, I can't yell at. Somebody, please, help! I mentioned that before. Again, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that figures. Uh, I will pause the video here until I get back to my save data. So, I'll be back in a 
And we're back. So yeah, another bad ending for your viewing pleasure. Yeah, there's a spirit here. And I'm not gonna go right in front of me again. Back away slowly. Do I want to pick up that doll again? Up they go. How to remove a tongue, part two. Okay. I guess I missed part one. Cut the tongue with a pair of big scissors. It's so thick and warm, but how will you know whose tongue it is later when you have a bunch more? Simple. Label it with a name tag. Yuck. Yeah. The tongue is very tender and squishy, so stick the safety pin in deep to keep the label from slipping away. Icky. Do I pick this up? Oh, screw it. So I can't go that way. Hmm. That begs the question, which way do I go? Weep, weep. Who's that? Where is that coming from? Sounds muffled, like one of those toy Mika doll telephones. But it's definitely close. <gasps> it's that damn doll! It's making noises again! Weep, weep. Go back this way? I mean... <sighs> I'm gonna pause the video here because I don't want it to be boring. So I'll see you guys once I find something relevant to the plot. Be back in a bit. Hey! Plot! Naho Senak? Say... Say... Sayanoki? Well, I guess it wasn't her video. Never mind. You're a liar! 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 Those child's those child spirits didn't even give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Give me back Suzumoto! Uh... At least I think that's what the noise she was making. What the hell? I saw you about to be brained. How are you here? I don't trust this. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Ah! Kishinuma! Ugh. Oh, he's bleeding. It's probably from the head blow he took earlier, um, but I don't know, I mean, he had him dead to rights there. Ugh. You okay, Shinazaki? You were the one to ask. What on earth happened to you? To you, rather. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> well, as soon as you turned that corner before, I got struck in the noggin from behind. <clears throat> But I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't know exactly where. But I was locked up in some gloomy little, little room. The child spirits were there. Along with some really big dude holding a hammer. How did you get here then? Well, after a little while in that room I lost consciousness again. And when I woke up, I was in the first floor hallway. So... Did somebody carry you there? Either way, I'm just glad you're all right. I don't know. <sighs> then again, this game doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want anybody else to die. Yeah, 
Yeah. I am not mistaken. If each of those child spirits were to find peace, and if they had to be appeased one by one, then those closed spaces given shape by their bound souls should not be able to remain in existence. We let them hear the killer's regrets, though. Yeah, because they sounded totally genu genuine, right? And it did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with here, anyway? The man with the hammer who attacked you? He was their murderer. I was right. <laughs> you serious? It seems he's got a violent streak even in death, as well. He harms the living indiscriminately. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. And how are we supposed to do that? Based on my mentor's teachings, mentor's research, rather, that antique tall you've got in your hand should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life. He was given it by his mother, and reportedly he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a second. Who's this mentor of yours? Is that the tape? The person who made that tape? Whoa. My personal affairs are not your concern. What's happening? Somebody's getting pissy from the looks of it. Sorry about that. Ahem. You'll need to find that man's body. Or his remains, at any rate. That should be in this school building somewhere. And if you find them, return the doll to their side. Everything will be just fine. I've got a creepy face. Woo, look at me. I'm a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Ms. Sayanoki? <sighs> your friend's death is your own fault. What a bitch. What the hell was that all about? Can we really believe it, what word she just said? Maybe not, but it's as good a place as it... But it's as... Ah, uh, maybe not, but it's as good a place as to start as any. Earlier, as I was passing through the first floor, the duel started crying, like weeping loudly. Seriously? Let me tell you, I sure didn't miss having that thing around. Well, we might be able to use it as, like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Wait a minute. Didn't he hang himself in the basement? And that sealed door in the basement. But how did we get in there? It's sealed up, and then again, um, the floor is broken. Either way, let's just keep moving, okay? Or can you? How's your head? Wow, that's quite a bump you've got. Bump. He's lucky he didn't get his head split open. Guy, ha guy was a lousy aim was? Should that be has? But he still hit my head full force with the handle. If he'd been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. Damn child killer. <sighs> You're lucky I just so happened to have some cloth bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing that wound. <laughs> Part of your prop closet, I take it? Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. <laughs> With that door open. Hmm. So I guess it was the right idea to take the doll after all. Hmm. So what was the point of that opening? Still dead end. Well, I'll try going over that way with the doll. 
and uh, I'll see what happens, I guess. Hmm. Curious. Oh, I just saved. I don't need to do it again. Weep, weep. I can't skip this for some reason. From Red Door, Six Steps Horse, Thirteen Paces Rooster. I knew it'd be important. Six Steps Horse. So, Six Steps Down. Thirteen Paces Left. Okay, so I need to go to the uh, Custodian's Closet? Or room, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, um... I'm gonna try to puzzle this out, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so that didn't take long. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out some sort of bag in the dark recesses below. Try to pull it out. I got nothing else to go on right now, so sure. Shuffle. With a bit of fidgeting, you are able to remove the item from its compartment, its small bag made of hemp and stained liberally with blood. There's name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 3-5, Ryo Yoshikawa. Gonna be inside, I wonder. Here, have a look. Oh wait, I'm not touching that thing. You look. <laughs> I don't blame her. I imagine it's a tongue. Ugh, I have a bad feeling about this. Ah! I was right. I imagine. Uh, what? What is it? What's in the bag? Save yourself. Eek! The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Yummy. Weep, weep. Return it. Return it. Who did it belong to again? Was it... The name tag. It's a boy's name. It must be the ghost of a little boy. <sighs> Shinazaki! <sighs> what do we do with it? Oh, it's so nasty. We give it back to its rightful owner. Huh? You out of your mind? Leo's tongue. Well, I know where he is, so... Yay. Now, it won't be on this floor, it'll be the next one up, if I remember correctly. So... Uh, something I should also mention, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there's five chapters and we're on the fourth, so I imagine things will be wrapping up pretty quickly. Uh, I 
went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Unless... No, yeah, I went the wrong way. Crap. Be right back when I've gone the right way. Alright, the correct stairwell. Ah, uh, I can be such a dope sometimes. Sorry about that. Well, here we are. And there he is. But you know what? Before I do this... Creepy noises. That's what, before I do this. Lovely. I know, no eye contact, right? Yeah, but... Yumi produces the boy's tongue from her bag, but nothing seems to be attracting his attention. He simply isn't noticing it. In order to give him back his tongue, he needs to see it to know we have it. So it's got to be directly in his field of vision, huh? Not gonna have happened. If his eyes meet mine, I'm dead, right? And then what? Wait. Hold up. I've never seen you shake like that before. Alright then. I guess a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. It's all yours. Crap! He's looking right at me! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Ryo Yoshizawa. Yeah. Ryo Yoshizawa. Yoshizawa. Fuck. Huh? That's right, I know your name. Show him the tongue? No, I'm not gonna. Fucking Jesus. Really? Of course I'm going to show him it. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't sympathize with what you're doing. Hurting strangers because of your own despair. Pulling them into a horrible place like this. And killing them. You killed our dear friend. I can never forgive you for that. Shinosaki. But this is yours. It's part of your body. So I'm going to give it back to you. And it over Ryo's tongue. My tongue. My tongue. Thank you, miss. <sighs> She's having a really bad reaction to shit what's going on in here. What? What's going on? Ah! Is the closed space re collapsing? Huh? Damn it! Another earthquake? You've got to be kidding me! <sighs> Won't get anywhere by wallowing in self-pity here. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please, wait for me. First things first, though, I need to go check on Naomi. All right. Ugh. Girl in the red dress. Hey, hey you, wait! So, do I follow, or do I go check on Naomi? Well, you know me. Yep. Let's go check. Something bad happens? Well, I got a save state. Hmm. I guess there was nothing to find. Maybe? Hey, wait a minute, wasn't this the... Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. Oh, 
shiny. Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. Sure. Seiko's cell phone. This is Shinohara's, isn't it? Seiko seemed to have been in the middle of texting, texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Shinohara. Sorry, Shino. Shit. <laughs> I don't think Naomi should see this. Not now, at any rate. Well, guess I'll head back. Interesting. To say the least. Let's see how Naomi's doing. Naomi. Toshi, please don't leave me alone in here like that. Sorry, I was out looking for Yuka. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Did you find her? No. The corridor that leads to where I saw her last went back to being a wall. I can't find any way of getting to the other building anymore. Other building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. Looks like the school Yuka of Morishige and I were in is different from this one. We need to find some way of traveling from one space to another. That would be ideal, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black shadowy mist. So I was a little scared to be in there. Afraid it might attack me again. You serious? I'm really sorry about that then. Don't worry about it. But there's something in there for sure. I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. Now I can go get that shiny thing. This is the way, right? Yeah. Durr. Use brain. Chrysler uses his brain. It was not very effective. Go down here and make it jump back up there so I can see where it is. Okay, it's in the same spot. The lights change positions again. Naomi, would you mind waiting here for a sec? Sure, no problem. Hmm. So, we've put one ghost to rest, I think? Yomi, now! Grab it! Okay, got it. Red key, the custodian's key. Nicely done in there. In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before. With Seiko. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her, I know we will. Yeah. Uh, I want to find a save point before I go into the custodian's room. So, I'm gonna... actually... yeah, I gotta do, find that. So, I'm going to, uh... Stop the video here, go to find a save point, and... I'll see you all next time. Bye bye